Welcome, 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 family. This is another exclusive episode with your boy De Niro X right here on Free Thoughts TV. And today, man, we're going to tackle this heavy topic, and, and that's why it's dating and marriage compromise. You know, people been asking me about this. People be talking about this. People really want to know about this and have their own regards. So I figure I just go ahead and, and, and get my thoughts on it, you know, get, add my little ingredients in here. So... I'm not going to hold your time. I'm going to get right to it. You know what I mean? Um, the first reason why I think, and I think you're going to agree, is the internet. And when we umbrella and unpack that, it's social media. You know? And social media comes with unlimited access. Somebody can contact you at any time. You know? Um, that's not authentic. You know, that's probably the most all, less authentic way to, you know, meet somebody, you know, because the Internet for real is not even a real place. You know what I mean? And the best chemistry is made when it's like in real life, when you meet them up front. You know what I mean? From my experience, you know, I'm from pre-Internet, so I'm, I'm with that. You know what I mean? I remember when we had beepers and we, you know what I mean? We left voicemails to get in contact with people. So now, you know, it's a little, little different now. And, you know, with social media and with the Internet, that's that's dopamine, you know, and that could turn into an addiction, dopamine addiction. That's going to make it hard for you to want to settle down with somebody that's, let's say, not as entertaining as your social media. You know, dig? You know what I mean? And like you're not impressed by their physical or mental. You're more obsessed with their virtual influence. You know what I mean? And that could compromise, you know your husband or your wife, you know what I mean? So stay up on that. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is dating apps. You know what I mean? It's just too much availability. Like I said earlier, you just could just get on the app, tap in a, a location, and you up and popping. I mean, long-distance relationships, I mean, you can even go out of the country. You know what I mean? The opportunities is endless at this point, which is compromising the real-life dating market you know what i mean it's 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 too it's too easy in my opinion you know what i mean and with dating apps that comes with emotional trauma you know what i mean that dopamine like i said you're, you're less likely to commit due to having so many options available to you all you have to do is like an avatar you know what i mean um you just have an abundance of people in different zip codes or states you're you, you have an appetite for more you know what I mean? You have an appetite for more. Um, I think that the next really important one that's undermined a lot is parental influences. You know what I mean? Your parents can have different expectations for you than you have for you, which could lead you to following their influences, If you, especially if you respect what they got to say for you. Um, you know, less married couples, you know what I mean? If your mother's not married, I'm not sure if she can guide you on how to get married. That might be an experience that you have to sort out for yourself because um, you don't want nobody projecting on you on what they would do when that might not be what's best for you. You understand? So you got to you gotta make sure you you on that. Um, and with that, you know, adjacent to that, you know, you make sure you have a, a, a respectable role model. You got to have a role model out here so you make sure that you on your 10 and that you headed in the right direction for evolution. You know what I mean? So you don't want to get compromised because you don't have no influences that's heading, you know, giving you that work. Um, I want to also say, um, you know, entertainment in the media, you know, it's a it's a it's a popularity for like lusty things and lusty entertainment. You know, we can't even watch a series without multiple sex scenes, you know, and even more, you know, um, they, they, they want to put up premarital, premarital sex in your face and make it look like it's cool or they're in school or, you know, whatever the situation is, it's just not a good look to be influenced by. If you understand what I'm saying, you know, with the, the shows that we like, I can't lie. I like all that stuff. Power, you know what I mean? Godfather of Harlem. But you know what I mean? That's still sex and drugs. You know what I mean? And that, what you what you think is what you are. You know what I mean? So it might have a negative influence for you. Um, in the movie platforms, you know, they put it up in your face, man. That's recommended for you. Be careful. It's the reason why they recommended it to you. You know what I mean? And they're not recommending certain things to you as well. 
But that doesn't mean it's not out there. But, you know, that's a compromise. Follow me now. Moving on. Government programs. I ain't even about to stay on that long because y'all know about WIC. You know about SNAP. You know about TANF. You know about child support. You know about the court system. You know what I mean? And with that being said, that, that'll that give a, re- a person a reason not want to commit or get married. You know what I mean? Especially if you're a woman or you have custody of the kids if you're a man. You know, it's deep. You know, it's legal disadvantages with that. You know what I mean? Alimony. You know, they're going to take your stuff, half your stuff. Child support, they're going to garnish that, bro. You know, whatever you getting, sis, they going to garnish that. You know what I mean? And, you know, people don't want to sign up for that. You know what I mean? That's why, you know, single-parent homes are such a high percentages. You know, um... And before I get out of here, I just want to say this last thing right here. Um, you know, you got animal adoption. You know, people naming their dogs and cats children. You know what I mean? Or even their birds children. You know, it's animal adoption that's trying to take place of human connection and chemistry and, you know, on the road to marriage. You know, so although it's it's a nice thing and it's a blessed thing, I love animals. I have a dog myself. You know what I'm saying? So... But I also have a family, and I've always had a desire for a family, a real one. So if, you know, I think in my opinion, the animal adoption, you know, could prevent you from wanting to engage with the real person. You know what I mean? You don't have the urge to want to have kids in real life. Um, And lastly, right here as I close, um, selfish defaults. You know what I mean? People are selfish. We want what we want. You understand? But... Also, I don't want to leave without saying porn. Porn, bro. People just want that microwave giddy, and they're willing to take that over something that takes time or something that's real. Um, And they're missing out opportunities, you know what I mean? And it's much more like pandemic, you know, pandemic elements, you know, people wearing masks, people, people scared to even be around people. You know, all this stuff is compromising the market, you know what I mean? It's 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 a, it's a hit to the mindset, but doesn't mean that it's not real and it's not available. You just have to go out there and make real connections and don't fall into the mousetrap of the things I just told you. You know what I mean? And that's what we're gonna leave it, man. It's always dope kicking this out with y'all. Don't think I forget. You know, we busy out here. We work, but I'm definitely gonna always give y'all that work. You know, my name is Denaro X. Y'all know y'all know the vibes. Y'all see it. And sh- but it's Free Thoughts TV. And yeah, we out. Yeah, yeah.